everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heidi from My Reading Life, and I'm here today to film my Springathon TBR. Yes, it's coming right up, folks. It is the first two weeks of May, um, and myself and my co hosts, Natalie, uh, Emma, Juliana, and Doris, and I are all very excited to get started and hope to hopefully encourage all of you to participate and jump in and read some nature nonfiction. So, the goal of the readathon is for everybody to uh, pick up something that's in the nature writing genre. Um, and so, in order to participate, all you have to do is read one nonfiction nature writing book, and that can be anything. Um, we have some suggestions for books that you might want to read along with us and there are some prompts that will help you choose books maybe um, and if you want to read fiction or poetry or something else that's also fine as well so for the springathon the group read is the way through the woods and i will show that in a minute it's down here in my stack of books down here beside me um, and so that one is one that will fit all the prompts and will also meet the goal of reading one piece of nature writing nonfiction. So if you read that one book, um, you will have done the, the uh, Springathon incomplete. Um, so let's go through the prompts together and I will show you the books that I have here. Um, let me grab them because they're down there too low and I can't reach them. So, all right, off we go. Like I said, the group read is um, The Way Through the Woods on Mushrooms and Morning by Long Wit Wound. So this book also uh, is the pick for the Book Naturalist Book Club. Uh, we'll be reading this the first two weeks of May as well. So if you want to participate in both Springathon and the Book Naturalist Book Club, you can read this one book. And then, so for the first prompt pairing, we have Migration and Home. And I have two books here um, that meet this prompt. The first one is The Next Great Mi Migration, The Beauty and Terror of Life on the Move by Sonia Shah. And I have to read this for the book two prize. So I won't really be discussing it other than to say that I will be reading it. Um, but because it's a book two prize book, I can't really talk about my thoughts about it right now. I will be posting about that later on in the year. Um, and then for, also for Migration and Home is Late Migrations, A Natural History of Love and Loss by Margaret Renkel. Um, and this one is another Milkweed Editions book. Um, I'm really excited to read this one. I've been wanting to read it. I think this cover is gorgeous and certainly fits the prompts of both Migration and Home. Um, I think often these nature memoirs that talk about uh, grief as well fit the prompt Migration and Home really well. The next prompt pairing is Bloom Decay. So for this one, I have a collection of short stories that I'd like to read. This is a book that my book fairy, book two fairy godmother, Judy Brown, sent me. And this is a collection of short stories all about nature writing in the 19th century. Um, a collection of stories that just talks about uh, nature and natural history from that time period. This cover, I think, meets the prompt of bloom so isn't it gorgeous it's just lovely i'm really really excited about this book um a collection of short stories about nature uh is right up my alley and then also for the bloom decay prompt i have naturalist by edward o wilson adapted by jim ottoviani and cm butzer so this is a piece of graphic uh memoir biography um and I think it meets the prompt of Bloom Decay because E.O. Wilson did a lot of his research in the rainforest. And when I think about rainforest, I think about lovely flowers and also rotting vegetation. So I think it fits the prompt of Bloom Decay very well. Then for Forage Hibernate, I have two books about mushrooms. Um, so one is our group read and also the book Naturalist pick that we talked about earlier and then the second book naturalist pick is entangled life how fungi make our worlds change our minds and shape our futures by merlin sheldrake um, and so this book will be the book naturalist pick for the second half of may but i will probably start reading it in the first two weeks of may um, just to get ahead a little bit and i have been wanting to read this book since um some other folks read it last year and talked about it very highly and it just sounds awesome. Um, very interested in the topic of fungi and how they interact with other uh, living creatures. 
And then for the last prompt pairing, we have Buzz and Stillness. And for that, I have a collection of poetry by Mary Oliver. This is A Thousand Mornings. Um, and I think just the cover is very evocative of stillness and contemplation and meditation. And I think poetry also lends itself to that sort of um, being still within yourself and thinking about what you're reading about and sort of trying to gain all the knowledge that you can from that. So I'm really interested to read more. I have only read like individual poems by Mary Oliver. I've never read any of her collections. And then another one where I'm a little bit stretching it, and this is a book I've been wanting to read for a really long time. This is Am Amity and Prosperity, One Family and the Fracturing of America by Eliza Griswold. This book, I think, meets the prompt a buzz because it is about a buzzy topic, which is fracking. So this book tells a story of, a, uh, of the fracking on a small town in Appalachia, um, and about a, one family uh, and illnesses that are uh, experienced by members of this family and the mom trying to find out what's going on and how this community, I believe it's in Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, Amity, Pennsylvania. Um, how what's happening with fracking in their community is impacting the health of the people that live there. Um, this book was, I think, it was listed for a prize a couple of years ago and I can't remember if it was the um, National Book Award or the Pulitzer. I must have been the National Book Award. Um, but I got interested in it then and picked this copy up and then it's just been languishing on my shelf unread. Um, but I am very interested uh, and wanting to get to it. So this should be a good uh, prompt for me to pick it up and read it in May. So that's eight books for you on my TBR. Um, I probably won't get them all read in the first two weeks of May, but I do plan to focus mostly on nature writing in the month of May, along with my book two prize reading. Um, so I will be talking about these and other books uh, for the next month anyway, and probably for longer than that. I hope you're all gonna join in with us um, for the Springathon this year, first two weeks of May. I will link all the information down below about the details of the hosts and the prompts and everything like that in the description box. Um, and I look forward to talking with you more about it through the month of May. Talk to you later.